Hi, my name is Vivek Adhikari. I am your English instructor. In this class, we are going to study about reading second of unit 19, that is, interpreting tables and charts. So, let's begin. We are now going to start the reading second of interpreting tables and charts. In this section, we are going to study about a table and a pie chart. The first table shows the students who appeared in the SLC exam in the academic year of 2072 and 73 and their score in English. Let us now look at the table. This is the table that we have. We have serial number here and then grading obtained in percentage. We have different kind of grades. We have explanation that is the type of the grade that the student got. We have the standard number that which is out of four. And after that, we have the total number of students. And each student is divided by the total and we got the percentage. Now let's look at it closely. We have 90 and more than 90%. That is A plus grade, which is outstanding. And which is the highest standard number called 4. And in that section, we have 12,552 students out of 4,36,983. So the percentage comes out to be roughly 2.87. Likewise, we have 9.17 percentage in excellent part, that is A and B plus. 7.48 percentage in B plus, very good part. 8.08 percentage in B, that is good. And 7.31 percentage in satisfactory C plus part. Now here comes the twist. C which is considered as an acceptable form of marks is the average. C which is considered the acceptable form of marks is quite average and we have 12.84% of average people in that. Now we have 16.28% in D plus and finally the maximum that is 19.69% in D which is quite insufficient level of performance. Finally, we have 16.28 in E, which is very, very poor. That is what we have right now in the table. Now we have converted that table into a pie chart. And what we have here is the SLC results of the students in the academic year of 2072 and 2073. We have used different colors like blue that is denoting the A plus grade, which is, sorry, Blue is denoting the A plus grade, which is 2.87 percentage. Uh, this orange is denoting 9.17 percentage, which is A, which means excellent performance. And this little brown thing is representing 7.48 percentage, which means it is good, and that is B plus. If you look at the given pie chart, the maximum number of percentage is D, which is 19.69. And so this is D which is insufficient and it is the maximum percentage that the students got. Now this thing, this D plus is 16.28 percentage. It's not quite clear from the figure. So this is D. D is this is D plus, I mean okay, this is D plus and it is 16.28 percentage. And E also is quite much, which is again 16.28. This is E which is very bad result. We have good result that is A plus and after that we have good result A and B plus and B and we have bad results. So this is the pie chart. Now let us start the exercise portion. The first thing that we have is called vocabulary in use. We are going to understand the basic type of phrases that are used to explain any kind of pie chart. The first simple ones are Right, this is the language that we are going to use when we are explaining any kind of chart, be it a table or a pie chart. That is, the above pie chart displays, or according to the pie chart, according to the pie chart. Another is, the pie chart clearly shows. And the final one is, as seen in the chart. So these are some of the examples that we are going to use, some of the examples of the phrases that we commonly use while explaining about a pie chart. Let's go to the pie chart once again. Now, can you use the given phrases and explain it? Uh, let's look at the first one, which is the above pie chart shows or displays. The above pie chart displays the SLC results of the students in the academic year 2072 and 73. Right. According to the pie chart, 9.17% of the total student got A grade, which is 
Excellent. The pie chart clearly shows that 19.69% is of the students got D, which is quite insufficient in nature. And the last one is, as seen in the pie chart, 16.28% is of the students got E, which is very, very insufficient. Right. So these are the phrases that we used. Now let us go to question number two, that is reading comprehension. Question number one is, study the table and the pie chart and indicate whether the following statements are true or false. We're going to write whether the following statements are true or false. The first one is, right, these are the first two questions. The first one is the pie chart represents or presents the data of all the subjects of the SLC examinees. So is this true or false? It is not the true statement. It is the false one because it does not represent all the subjects. It only represents the English language subject. So we are going to write it false. The answer is false. Now let us look at the another question. According to the pie chart, the majority of total examinees scored the grade A in the exam. Is this the correct statement? Now let's go to the pie chart once again and have a look. Did the student score A? Did the majority of the student score A? No. The maximum percentage of people score D. Right? Then we are going to write false as the answer. Now these are the last three questions. The first one is the least number of students belong to the group that obtained B. Is this correct? For that once again we need to go to, back to the pie chart and that is did the least number of students actually score the grade B? No, the least number of students has scored A plus, right? So we are going to write the answer is false. Another false statement. Let's look at the another question. The highest number of students has scored D plus grade. Now is this correct? Did the maximum number of students score D plus grade or did they score D? Now let's go back to the pie chart once again and have a look. Did they score D plus? Nope, they scored D as the maximum. So again, we have another false statement. We are going to write false as this is the answer. So we have four false statements. Now let's go to the final one. Among the total students appeared in the exam, only 8.08% scored the grade B. Now is this correct statement? Let us now go back once again to the pie chart. And that is this. Did they score, did 8.08% is a scored B? Yes, they did. 8.08% is a scored B, which is a correct statement, finally. Now this turned out to be a true statement. Out of all the false statements, we had one true statement. Now let us go to number two, which is study the following table and pie chart once again and answer this question so this is aq answer question type of exercise let's start with the first one which is how many students appeared in the slc examination in the year 2072 and 73 and the obvious answer if you just look at the pie chart the obvious answer is four lakhs 36,983. So these many students appeared in the SLC examination in the year 2072 and 73. Now let's look at the another question, which is, now the question is, what is the percentage of the students who scored C plus grade in SLC? For this, once again, we can go back to the first pie chart now let's look here how many percentage of the student got C plus actually that is can you see this so this is C plus so the total number of students who got C plus is 12.84 percent is right this is not C plus that is C only we are not talking about C plus C plus is 7.31 percent is this is C which is 12.84 percent is while C plus is 7.31 percent is so what is the answer? Not the 12.84 percentage, but the answer is 7.31 percentage. So let's write that. The answer is 7.31 percentage. So these percentages, these are people, students scored grade C plus in the SLC exam. 
Let us now look at other questions. Right, these are the final three questions. The first one is, which grade was scored by the majority of the students? For that, can we go back to the, to the first pie chart once again? Right, here is the first pie chart. So, which grade did the majority of the student achieve? That is D, as I have already said. So, the answer is D grade. Majority of the student obtained D grade, which is not so good. Let's look at the another question. What is the total number of students who achieved the grade D plus? What was it? For that, we need to go back to the table and write the answer. And that is 71,125 students. So these many students got the grade D plus. Now we have come to the last question that is, is the achievement level of the students in the SLC examination satisfactory? Why or why not? And this is relatively a question that depends and the answer of which depends upon your reasoning, your intellect and so on and so forth. But also we are going to use and analyze the data. So we are going to answer from that perspective also. Going back to the pie chart and studying the data shows that the SLC result was not so excellent. So we can say that the total achievement level of the students in the SLC examination was not satisfactory or even we can say that it was okay but not good. So it was not so satisfactory because majority of the students got what did they get? So they got D plus or D or even E. So this is not satisfactory. With this we have come to the end of today's class and I'm going to give you some homework and your homework is to you know draw a pie chart based on these given information. Let us suppose that your parents earn rupees 30,000 per month and they spend their income on different sectors. So different sectors. They spend rupees 6,000 on rent, rupees 10,000 on food, 5,000 on education and 3,000 on entertainment and not only that they actually save 6,000 each month. Now I want you to show this data in a pie chart and explain it in detail like we did in this lecture. So you are going to use four different kind of phrases to explain it and you're going to explain it in three neatly written paragraphs. With this we have come to the end of today's class. If you have any questions or suggestions regarding today's class Feel free to write us at learning at Thank you.